You tried contacting his next of kin? Tried and failed. And I'm afraid if we wait any longer, it won't do any good. What's the procedure? All right, last year, I came into possession of an alien device capable of draining the life energy from one person and giving it to somebody else. It was used as a kind of death penalty. Sounds nasty. Yes, but it can be used safely at lower settings to heal people. Are you speaking from personal experience? Or... No, 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 no. I haven't done it myself, but I have seen it used that way. Still, there is a risk, and I wanted your permission before trying it. There's no other way. It's his only hope. We don't have much choice, do we? Who are you going to hook up to the machine? Well, I can't ask anyone else to take the risk if something goes wrong. I'll do it. Good to see you. How was your flight? Fine. A little bumpy coming out of hyperspace, but otherwise, no complaints. Good. You look like you've gained a little weight since the last time I saw you. Ah, oh, well, what can I say, huh? After three years in deep patrol eating synthetics, I took one look at the garden here and completely lost control. Sounds great. I'm starved. Well, good. Let's get you something to eat. I'll have your bags sent to your quarters, all right? Okay. I understand you're looking for me, Ambassador. How can I be of service? The destruction of the Nan base in Quadrant 37 is drawing quite a lot of attention. Yes, that was the intent. And you are absolutely certain that it cannot be traced back to me? Oh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. The Narns will never be able to prove that it was done at your instigation. And based on your promise to take care of it, your government accepts your responsibility without question or hesitation. Perfect symmetry. I believe that this little demonstration will bring you some very interesting propositions. Yes. But what happens if I'm asked for another of these little demonstrations? Then we'll provide it. Simply choose your target. A colony. An outpost. <laughs> Why don't you eliminate the entire non-homeworld while you're at it? <laughs> One thing at a time, Ambassador. One thing at a time. Oh, one last thing. Small favor in return for our good efforts on your behalf. A person in an important position like yours hears many things. If you should hear about anything strange happening out on the rim, I'd appreciate being informed even if it seems unimportant. Good day, Ambassador. And it's certainly a big change from running the Agamemnon. It's more like being a military governor of a small, self-contained country, you know, with its own rules, a thousand different languages, everyone coming and going at all hours. Still, there's a terrific energy here. A sense of really being on the frontier. How's your salad? Oh, it's fine. Huh? Fine. You don't look fine. It's just... We haven't seen each other in two years, and from the moment I got here, you haven't stopped talking about work. This is me, Johnny, remember? I'm sorry. I, I just... Uh, seeing you again... Brings it all back. I know. That's why I'm here. Nothing has ever really been the same between us, not since Anna passed away. I need more time, that's all. Johnny, it's been two years. Then why do I still have to remind myself that she's gone? Why, when I see something interesting on the news, I'll say to myself, oh, I gotta remember to mention this to Anna later on.